Hi, this is Bill Carmody with some tips on how to have a successful final project. You need to write and perform an original composition from two to five minutes in length. Fully analyze it. Macro analysis, that's the letter names of the chords. Roman numeral analysis, show the sections, cadence types, non-harmonic tones, sequences, extensions, everything you can think of. Form analysis, so there's going to be a form map that I'll show you three slides from now. Half of your grade of this project is based on the performance, so how well you perform the piece. The other half is the quality and analysis of the composition. You must be part of the performance. You can't just write a piece and have somebody else play it for you. However, you do not need to be the star, so you can Add a part that you can play if you're limited as a performer and find somebody else to do the lion's share. But you have to compose it and you have to perform in it. Here for first semester students is a minimum map for your composition. You need to have a little introduction, the first theme in the tonic key, and then have another theme in the dominant key go back and do the first theme or a variation of it and then have an outro a tag ending a way to make the piece feel like it's finished in your analysis first of all you have to write out your score by hand for first semester students uh, pencil is preferred after first semester feel free to use a music notation program like Sibelius or Finale if you know how to use the program. If you don't, just go ahead and do it by hand. You can use any kind of music paper that you want. You want to be neat and spacious. Show your best manuscript. Make your piece as legible as possible. Here's that example of a form map. So for the form map, you say, okay, in these measures, this is what it's called. This is the introduction from measure one to six, and I'm in the key of F. And then I have the A section in the key of F, and that section is repeated in this example. And the second time it's repeated, there are little variations on it. So it's not repeated exactly, and that's why it's A prime. And then I have a modulation, a segue, if you've gotten to that part where you can do modulations and segues. And then you go to your B section and so on. So uh, whatever your map is, is fine but uh, you need to map it out on the back of the score or on a separate piece of paper. Like I said, you can use any music paper you want. You don't have to use Sierra College paper. You may, but you don't need to. Uh, you write the music in score order. That means the woodwinds on top and then the brass and the percussion and then the strings. Probably you won't be writing for a full orchestra or a full band, but for whatever instruments you are writing for, they always go in that same order. Whatever ensemble you're writing for, try to find an example of music that's been written for that type of ensemble, and then you'll see how the pages are laid out, how the stabs are stacked. You may also need to write out separate parts for your performers, so not everybody's just looking off of the score. And I have some examples of scores here. In this particular piece, it's a trio sonata, two treble clef instruments, and then a bass clef instruments, and there's also a harpsichord part that goes along with it. Okay, it's just a little excerpt. And you see that the macro analysis, the letter names, are above the top staff. And the Roman numeral analysis is below the bottom staff. In this particular case, there's just a duet between a solo instrument and a guitar. Actually, this performance is done with voice. Come again, sweet love doth now invite Thy graces that refrain So you need to have a melody and you need to have the harmony so you can do the chord progressions. 
If you're writing for solo guitar, it's a little bit tougher because you have to play the melody and the harmony at the same time, but it can be done. some guitar music to see how it is notated. Don't use tablature, use real notes. This example is written for two flutes and so you have to assume or figure out what the harmony is. If you're writing for instruments, make sure that you trade off. Not everybody's uh, doing the same rhythm, so that sometimes the uh, top part has the active notes and sometimes the bottom part has the active notes. To share the wealth. The dynamics go above the line if you've written for voice because the words go below the line. If you're writing for instruments, the dynamics go below the instrument part. If you're writing for keyboard, the dynamics go between the treble and bass clef. Notice how the left hand, the accompaniment part on this piano part, changes. So we have this one pattern for accompaniment for a few measures, and then something else for the next few measures, and a different accompaniment part for these few measures. And so use a lot of variety of uh, rhythmic styles. If you're writing just for piano, then you can have the melody in the right hand or the left hand. And again, you want to have the accompaniment part have some variety in it. Get embellishment figures like trills here or turns or appoggiaturas, mordants, and uh, different kinds of non-harmonic tones. Look at piano music. If you're a piano player, look at the piano music that you are studying and see how uh, the composer uses variety in the left hand and right hand to keep the interest interesting. The piece needs to be from two to five minutes long. How many measures that includes is flexible. That's not a big issue. You need to have your introduction, interludes, transitions, extensions. Any technique that you know how to apply, go ahead and apply it, but point it out so that I know that you know what you're doing. Vary the textures. Don't have both hands playing all the time. Sometimes have one hand, sometimes have the other hand. If you have more than one instrument, play together, but also trade off. Sometimes the solo instrument doesn't have to have an accompaniment at all for a measure or two. Not for very long, but for a little bit. Look at the music that you are studying and see how it's put together, and then imitate that style. You need to give your piece an appropriate title, so not 3 o'clock in the morning, that doesn't count. Instead, wait until after you've finished writing the piece and then come up with a title that seems to fit the style of the music that you've written. You need to have, this is kind of fundamental, but sometimes you'd be surprised. People mess this up. Every line has a clef sign and a key signature, but only the first line has the time signature and the tempo. Throughout your piece, include expression marks. Don't just put mezzo forte at the beginning and leave it at that. Change the volume, uh, accents, use slurs, uh, crescendos, decrescendos, staccato marks. All the things that you know how to add, use as many as you can so that not only do you know what to play, but how to play it. For analysis, you have to put the key that you're in and you do that with the letter of name of the key and then a colon. The colon means the key of. And when you modulate or change to a different key, 
you need to show that with another key colon. Circle and label the first two examples of each kind of non-harmonic tone. Use capital letters in a box to show where the sections are. So my A section's here, and then my B section's here, and then I come back to this A section here, and with those, uh, they look like rehearsal mark boxes that show where the sections of your piece are, and also label your cadences. You don't have to say whether it's perfect authentic, but you can say whether it's a full cadence or a half cadence. There's no makeup for the final, so be ready when your name is called. The final should be ready to be performed on Monday of finals week. There may be some spill over to Wednesday, but don't count on that. You should be ready when your name is called. If you're not, then you didn't do it. The performance date is also the cutoff date for any other makeup work you need to do, including concert reports. So I know it's a lot of stuff to do, but you should have enough notice. And if you get started early, you're going to be just fine. Don't be writing your composition Sunday night. All right. I'll see you later. Good luck. Bye-bye.